I'm drunk. Slightly drunk. I'm slightly drunk. I'm not that drunk. I'm like exactly where a person should be if they're drunk. I hate my life. Eventually. Okay guys, <laughs> I have not been able to vlog at all today. Welcome to my move. <laughs> I'm in Honolulu. I just got a lift ride over to my first couch surfing spot and I've never used couchsurfers.com before. This is my first time doing it. Now that I'm here outside of the building, I'm honestly just a little nervous. Like, what if this person is not the person they say they are? And here I am with like everything I own. So. I don't know. Um, I don't know when I'll be able to vlog again, but I am trying my best to document this move for you guys. It's just a lot of work to do that. So, uh, welcome to the next uh, chapter in my life. a little dreadlock update for you guys. Let's just say we've reached a whole new phase in the dreadlock journey. But that is not what this video is about. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know what couch surfing is, it is an online database really similar to work away and woofing, something that I've talked about a lot on this channel. Basically, you know, travelers, people who respect travelers, people who want to support travelers, they can offer up a couch or an air mattress or whatever, completely free of charge. Now, <laughs> where I am at right now, I've never used couch surfing before, but I imagined it being people like me, poor, broke travelers. But I am in a really nice condo right now in the heart of Waikiki in Ala Moana, which is kind of the area that I'm probably gonna be looking for a job in. Um, it's a very hustling, bustling place. I'm in this high rise condo overlooking the ocean and I can't believe my life. <laughs> Super nice uh, woman who's letting me stay here. She left a couple hours ago and I have just been sitting on her couch and I'm not gonna film the rest of the apartment. I'm just gonna film this little corner. This is my air mattress that she's providing me and this amazing view, oh my goodness. But yeah, out of respect for her, I'm not gonna you know, show her home to you guys. But I've been sitting on the couch for the last few hours, contacting all of the apartments. Of Do you hear that traffic? <laughs> There's traffic here. I have not heard noises like that in so long. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I am in awe of my life. I think I'm not gonna vlog the rest of the day. I'm just really tired. But I will show you guys apartment hunting tomorrow. So I think what this video will end up being is what it's like moving to a city with no money and no apartment and no job. And um, I'm really hoping it has a happy ending. As of right now, I'm hopeful and that's really all I have is <laughs> hope. <laughs> Perfect. 
Hi friends, welcome to my first full day in Honolulu. Today is Monday and it is a very big day for me. I have five apartment tours today. Honestly, I've never done anything like this. I love looking at houses and apartments and stuff and I like meeting people and just getting a vibe for a place and for the people in it. So I'm so stoked. <laughs> So I'm gonna go to my first showing. I'll do a little bit of vlogging on my phone today. I probably won't be able to show you guys much. I don't really know what this video is. I kinda think it's gonna suck, but if you are curious what it's like getting started in a new city, well heck, let's figure it out together. 20 minutes later. I was feeling myself so hard. I was singing, headphones in, just living my life. I had to go buy a Starbucks so that I could get quarters for the bus fare and I tripped really bad and I ate shit. I'm wearing a dress. I definitely showed my ass to a few people driving by. They were like, are you okay? And I'm bleeding and now I'm late for my first apartment show. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Oh my god. I even cracked my cup. One hour later. All right guys, I just went to my first showing. The room was really nice, like the apartment in general was really nice. I don't really foresee it happening. Firstly because a lot of the showings I have today are for month to month. This one is a six month lease. And most of the students, yeah, but I meant to say tenants, they're all students. They all seem pretty quiet. And I like living in a quiet space. I have misophonia, for those of you who don't know, so being around quiet people is obviously better for me, but I'm a loud person, so I don't want to be the loudest person <laughs> in a place. I don't know, I, frankly, I can't decide what is the best fit. I've always found myself to be quite adaptable to my environment, but what environment am I gonna feel the most at home and the most comfortable? Many hours later. It's many hours later. I did five showings total today. It was exhausting. One showing I had a good feeling about, but I didn't want to commit because I still had more showings that were technically closer to the neighborhood that I was trying to get into. I just texted them and they gave it to someone else. So I'm upset. <laughs> it's day one of me living in Honolulu. So the idea of even getting a place within the first day of me being out here, it seems ridiculous, but I'm really <laughs> sad and I'm tired. I would have really liked to not have had to go look at any more places. Remember this morning how excited I was. Flashback. This is the first time I'm like going apartment shopping and I am so excited. End of flashback. I'm gonna go eat ramen. It's my second night in a row because there's tons of ramen out here and it's one of my favorite foods. The next day. Yesterday was a lot. <laughs> Today is my second full day in Honolulu. Third day on the hunt, you could say. I already am corresponding with some more places, so I'm already feeling hopeful all over again. So we'll see what happens. Tonight, however, is my last night staying at my couch surfing spot. So I also need to figure out where I'm gonna go from here. I have a lot of just computer work I need to do. I've decided I'm gonna go visit the cafe that the couch surfer lady uh, owns and just go support her business because she's really helping me out. So I'm gonna go there, work on my computer. I don't know if I really wanna vlog today because this vlog is just like so messy. Yeah, <laughs> wish me luck. One eternity later. So, first of all, it's really windy up here. I'm on a rooftop. So if the audio sucks, I'm sorry. I'm also talking on my iPhone. I ended up seeing I honestly can't even remember how many. I feel a little bit better, but I also have a few more showings tomorrow. I'm just gonna do what feels right, and this is what feels right for me. So I'm gonna look at a few more places tomorrow. The places tomorrow are exceptionally cheaper 
and now that I know what I can get for a higher end price I think it'll be really easy to compare because I feel like no matter what I'm compromising <laughs> a lot so maybe I will just go with something cheaper that's month to month and then leave sooner once I can actually afford something that I actually really really like tomorrow I've got third day of showings I would like to think that a decision will be made by tomorrow you have to be patient in these scenarios so I will talk to you guys tomorrow I'm gonna go soak in this hot tub but I can't get my elbow in I'm injured quite badly actually it's it's been like really bothering me oh and I'm drinking a beer good night day four Hey guys, um, I just woke up and I took off my band-aid last night so I just wanted to show you guys <laughs> from my fall the first day I was here because um, it looks kind of, I mean it like hurts so bad like sleeping last night without my band-aid on um, I just yeah I can't really like put my arms straight I really got myself good. My knee is not that bad, but my elbow is pretty bad. <laughs> um, so my plan for today, go to a showing that I'm pretty excited about, come back here and pack, and then I have to go to my Airbnb with all my stuff because I bought an Airbnb for the next two nights. I just picked somewhere really cheap. And then I've got two more showings tonight. Later. This Airbnb has cable television and I am living for it. <laughs> I just checked into my Airbnb. It's actually, I mean, like nothing's cute about it, but it's like everything I need. And I can just literally just veg out here. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so I'm really excited that I can just watch television all day tomorrow. <laughs> Basically, I went to a showing earlier today that I have not told you guys about. I think I'll just wait um, to see what happens um, at this next showing. So I'm going to have to leave here in the next couple of hours since it is a long bus ride to that. And I will talk to you all once it is over. So wish me luck. 3,000 whoop who's later. Hey sisters. Oh, I just watched uh, a few James Charles videos. I completely forgot to vlog. I'm drunk. Slightly drunk. I'm slightly drunk. I'm not that drunk. I'm like exactly where a person should be if they're drunk. Um, anyways, I got an apartment. I'm so happy. So yes, I decided to celebrate. My phone was dying. So I was like, oh, I'll just stop at this bar that a viewer actually recommended to me because she said oh you should go work there you'll make tons of money I went there and I was like not feeling it I would never work there but I did have a very positive experience I got some advice from some of the servers I got to have my celebratory drink I got to charge my phone and um, yeah I found an apartment that I'm really excited about it's a totally like wacky crazy space and it's unique and weird and it's in a very cool location and I'm just I just feel so good about it so um the last time I spoke with you guys, I had just gotten an apartment. I am moving into my place today. I have lived rent-free for a long time, so things are about to change.